for the Democrats and their anti-gun agenda. Kamala Harris, gun violence is number one cause of death for children in America. Okay, why? Why might that be? Uh, it's free from violence. Okay. Um, okay. Gun violence has increased. Okay. Why? There seems there... In those last couple years, we've seen tighter, stricter gun prohibitions. So we should see a decrease, not an increase in firearms, right? If gun prohibition equals less gun violence, we should see it going down, not up. Um, you think? Why is there an increase? Well, let's see, 2018, 2020. What happened these last couple of years? Could it be COVID? Oh, COVID. Hmm. Teen suicide jumps 28% over the last decade. Oh, yeah. Youth suicides increased during COVID pandemic. Oh. Hmm. Alarming rates of suicide increases. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's concerning. Why ain't the Democrats talking about that? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, let's just look at some pictures here, graphs. Gun-related deaths in the United States. Suicide. <laughs> and let's get that to focus. Where's a lot of that gun violence at? Well, let's go look down here. <gasps> 184 mass shootings. Where's the red dots at? Oh, those look like Democrat-controlled cities where the gun prohibitions are. Oh, all the mass shootings are in places with the strictest gun controls? Huh, interesting. Gun violence. Mass shootings in the United States? Well, why have we had an increase in mass shootings this last couple of years? Could it be um, defund the police? White people bad narratives that the Democrats keep telling us and giving? With their identity politics? You know, cause and effect? Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting. What else we got here? Gun-related deaths increase. Yep. Wow. Hmm. Cause and effect. Defund the police. Ter taking a knee to supporting the leftist violence these last couple years. Oh, cause and effect. Really say turning a blind eye to political violence until Capitol Hill. Then that one got them all up in wad. Hmm. Yep, yep. They didn't have a problem with none of this political violence until it came to them. Well, cause and effect. So, why is there an increase? Yeah, yeah. What's the symptoms? What's the cause? That's the question. But no, they want to go after guns. They're focused guns. Get the guns away from the people. So, they've literally incentivize criminality and violence across the United States, defund the police, open borders, tens of thousands, millions of people all now competing for resources that was basically restricted and cut back on during COVID and we're just now recovering from loss of jobs. Then you introduce large amounts of people to compete with those jobs they don't even require any real immigration. You just, come on in, come on in, help yourself. Help yourself, take what you want. We'll, de we'll don't defund the police, we'll don't decriminalize rioting and looting. As long as it's under $1,000 or whatever, we won't even prosecute you. We just want to set you free. Help yourself, help yourself, it's a free-for-all. Oh, the gun violence increases? Ooh. 
Well, if we don't fix that, we're going to disarm the people, the law-abiding citizens. We're going to take their guns, make sure that they're easy victims and easy pickings. All right. Good day, good night, wherever you're at. According to the time of day.